You wanted to know more about cryptic pregnancy, and cryptic pregnancy is a condition where a woman doesn't recognize the fact that she's pregnant until she goes into labor. And there are stories out there about women going into the doctor and having negative urine tests, negative blood tests, negative ultrasounds, women who have bled all during their pregnancy, so they swear they're having periods, they didn't gain much weight, and then all of a sudden they go into labor. Those stories are out there, and the women who have experienced these things can't deny that this happened to them, but the medical profession does not recognize cryptic pregnancy as a true condition. And it comes back to science and a few basics that exist with um, the way home pregnancy tests work, how ultrasounds work, and why women won't have periods while they're pregnant. Pregnancy tests in general, whether it be a urine test or a blood test, are looking for a hormone called human chorionic gonadotropin. And this is a hormone that a woman's body starts to release early in pregnancy and levels rise exponentially until about eight to 11 weeks gestation when they peak and then they actually start to decline a little bit. And um, human chorionic gonadotropin is essential to a healthy pregnancy. So if it's not there, it's not detected in a, in a blood test or a urine test, then that means you're not pregnant because if, if you were pregnant, it would be there. Now, um, this is also a diagnostic tool for women who are miscarrying because if the doctor tests like a blood HCG level and then compares that to a level that they get a couple days later, if it's falling, then that means that the woman is miscarrying. Again, that implies that if levels are rising as they should, then it will show on a pregnancy test. Now let's talk about ultrasounds. Um, evidence of pregnancy can be seen using a transvaginal ultrasound by five to six weeks gestation, which is five to six weeks after the woman's last period. So it's pretty early on when you can see evidence of pregnancy. And then by using an abdominal ultrasound, one that pe most people think of when you think of getting an ultrasound, evidence of pregnancy can be seen by about seven to eight weeks. You can even see like um, a fluttering heartbeat inside the uterus. And so that's really exciting when a pregnant woman gets to see that. Now the next hot topic associated with cryptic pregnancy is the fact that some women say they had regular periods over the course of the pregnancy and so they never even thought they were pregnant. It is possible to have vaginal bleeding during pregnancy. In fact, 20 to 40% of women do have vaginal bleeding, but it's usually a sign of complication. So early on, we have to look into ectopic pregnancy, miscarriage, pelvic organ problems, um, and then very, very early on, like around the same time a woman would have a missed period, she might have a little bit of spotting, and sometimes this is due to implantation spotting. But if the bleeding is happening after 20 weeks of pregnancy, we have to worry about other things like placenta previa or an abruption. These are all serious complications that need to be checked out. So again, these complications need to be explored if a woman has vaginal bleeding during pregnancy, but it's not going to be due to a period. And here's why. Each month, a woman's body builds up a thick uterine lining to support pregnancy if it happens. It's where the little embryo starts to implant and grow and it needs that rich lining. So if you're not pregnant, then your body sheds that uterine lining that was built up and you have a period. That's what you see when you have a period is that extra uterine lining. Now, um, another thing that people bring up when they discuss cryptic pregnancy is a growing belly or lack of. So um, some women are just in denial. Their stomach starts to get big and they write it off um, as you know something else. I'm gaining weight. That definitely happens. But um, there's also some women who are able to hide pregnancy pretty well. And for women who have, you know, claimed to not know that they were pregnant and then they go on to deliver a baby and that's the first they ever knew about it, there are women out there who um, don't gain much weight during pregnancy or maybe they did start to gain weight and they just thought it was due to the fact that they were putting on a few pounds. And so I can see how this would happen. Other symptoms associated with pregnancy are nausea, vomiting, weight gain, and a growing belly. And women who have claimed to have cryptic pregnancies or to have not known that they were pregnant until they go into labor um, may not have had any nausea or vomiting. 10% of women don't have that. Um, or maybe they did and they just wrote it off to other things. They just thought they were sick for a while and never sought attention or help from a doctor to figure out what it was due to. And then as for the weight gain, everyone gains a different amount of weight during pregnancy and shows differently and that's largely dependent on your pre-pregnancy weight. So I can definitely see how, you know, there's women out there who don't gain much weight, they don't get sick. That is a possibility. 
Basically, it all comes down to the fact that if a woman never goes to a doctor and has the official diagnosis of pregnancy given, then it would be possible for her to go throughout the pregnancy and write off symptoms that she's seeing as something else, whether it be um, denial or just not knowing that those are symptoms of pregnancy, and then get to the point where she goes into labor, has a lot of pain, goes to the hospital, and then has a baby and finds out that day that she's a mom. If you have any reason to believe that you're pregnant, start out by taking a home pregnancy test once you have a missed period, which is the first sign of pregnancy. And if it's positive, then call your OB provider and make your first prenatal appointment because proper prenatal care increases the chances of you and your baby being as healthy as possible. And for women who don't seek prenatal care because they didn't think they were pregnant or were in denial, it does increase the chances of them having complications. If you have more questions for me in the future, please feel free to ask them on our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash Intermountain Moms and recommend us to your friends and family too.